Let's say you are asked to solve an inequality graphically, so the direction can be find the solutions of the inequality by drawing appropriate graphs. So I have an inequality for you. So let's say x squared less than or equal to 3x plus 10. Well, most people will just go ahead. Okay, so let's open up decimal. Uh, it's an app completely free. You can download it on the App Store, Play Store. You can look it up on Google. Top result, click on it, and then you can start working immediately. So let's say I type x squared less than or equal to 3x plus 10. So this is what you will see. So is that the graph of an inequality? So that doesn't look like the graph, right? Because there is an x squared, I expect to see some parabola. Okay, so what is this graph about? So if you just type this, you get the result immediately. So how do you read the result? The result is, here is the solution. The solution is x must be between negative 2 and positive 5, including negative 2 and including positive 5. So this is not the graph of x squared or the linear equation 3x plus 10. If you just type the whole inequality to decimals, you get the solution immediately. So the solution is x is between negative 2 and 5, including negative 2, including 5. So how do they get the negative 2 and the 5? So here is how. So let me just tap on on that circle to turn it off. So first, I graph x squared. You have a parabola, right? And then I graph 3x plus 10. And then you have a straight line. So what is the solution? The solution is the intersection of the parabola and the straight line. So you can look, look it up. So where is the first first intersection the first intersection is right over here and then the second one is right over there you can just tap on it that's more will tell you the location of the intersection so you can see that x is equals to negative 2 when x is equals to negative 2 x squared is equals to 4 3 times negative 2 plus 10 is equals to 4 so they meet they join at that point and then the other solution is 5 comma 25, 5 comma 25. When x is equals to 5, the parabola is at 25. The linear equation is also at 25. So that means if you put them into the inequality, x less than or equal to 3x plus 10, then what do you get? You get that the solution is between negative 2 and 5, including negative 2 and including 5. All right. So that's how they get the negative 2 and the 5. All right, so how about this? I turn this off. What if you change this to uh, greater than or equal to? Greater than or equal to? Oh, by the way, if you are using a, a computer to do this, you have to type a greater than first and then type the equal. All right, so once I graph that, and then this is what you get. I know you don't see a parabola. So this one, the solution is x must be less than or equal to negative 2 or x must be greater than or equal to positive 5 if you change that to a greater than or, or, or equal to again the solutions is x less than or equal to negative 2 or x greater than or equal to positive 5 so if you just use a greater than like that then this one will be x less than negative 2 no equal versus or x greater than 5, no equal, because you take away the equal, so you get a you get a dash line. Dash line means x cannot equal to negative 2. Also, x cannot equal to 5. If you change that to a less than, so let's, let's do that right now, so you see the dash line is still there. So this one will be x between negative 2 and 5, not including negative 2, not including 5. All right, so let's change the, the num number a, a, a little bit. Okay, so how about this? Let's change that to, to an 8. So let's change that to an 8. So this will be here. Just tap on the dash line. So the solution is x between. I'm sure that that, that one is, is, is around. That one is around. Round, round off value. So x is between negative 1.702 and 4.702, not equal to to any of those values because of the dash line. All right, so how do they get those two values? Easy. So let's turn this off and then I have to change that to a plus eight. 
and then I graph them. So where are the intersections? So the first one is right over there, negative 1.702. And then the other one, if you zoom out, the other one is right over there. So x is between these two numbers. If there is an equal, then you include them. If there is no equal, then you do not include them. Okay, so since you know how to do this now, so what happened if I change the inequality to, let's say, a negative 2x and then a minus 6? How about that? So this will be x squared, and then this will be a negative 2x minus 6, minus 6, and then we have that. Okay, so there is no intersection. Then, then what happened? There is no intersection. That means there is no solution. Okay, so if you could check the inequality, there is no solution. Do you see this? There is nothing because there is no solution. The reason is they do not intersect each other at any point. All right, so let's change the minus 6 to uh, how about a plus 5? Huh? What is the solution then? Then the solution is x is between these two numbers. If there is an equal, including those two x value, otherwise do not include them. Okay, so let's change this to a plus 5, and then we will take a look. Plus 5, and then turn these two off. So okay, we remember these two value. Negative 3.449 past the 1.449, all right? So we turn this off, and then turn this on, and then you can see that x is between these two value. If you use an equal, then they be, then those two dashed lines become a solid line. If you change that to a greater than, then this region will be the other way around. All right, so that is the end of this video. If you think my instruction is helpful, definitely give this video a thumbs up. If that is something that you would like to see, stay tuned, subscribe, and I will meet you all in the next one, signing out.